Hey, Jenna. You have not been coming to see me in some time. Hi, Mom. I have been asking Jared to come with me for ages now, but he is always tired after work. You think I was born yesterday? What do you mean? He just wants you to himself and wants to have that salad you make so well alone. We miss you. We were hoping that you could come to visit us soon. Sorry, I have been very busy looking for a job lately. I lost my scholarship, so I have to come up with the money. I will still talk to him so that we can come and have dinner with you. I have some news. I do not know if it is appropriate to tell you over the phone. What is it? Is everything okay with you and Lisa? Well, it is mostly Lisa. She has not been that well since she broke up with that deadbeat man. But do not worry. It is nothing too bad that happened. Oh, I see my son's car in the driveway. Okay, we will talk later then. Hours later. Do not cook tonight. I will bring home some dinner. But you know what we said about takeaway food. No, it is food that my mom made to celebrate the good news. What news? What she wanted to tell me that time when we spoke earlier? My sister is pregnant. What? Wow, that is unexpected. How do you feel about it? I am happy about it. Mom is happy that at last she has a grandchild. And at least it puts the pressure off us. Yeah, it is good news. But remember that your sister is not working as well. And the father of the child is some deadbeat guy. What are you trying to imply? That it was a stupid decision for her to get pregnant? Not quite. Of course, we will support her in everything that she does. We will all contribute as a family. Two months later. Are you busy? What's up? My legs are swollen and I have been having morning sickness for days now. I wanted to go get something at the pharmacy. But you know I cannot drive. Take a cab? I get nauseous in the cab. What did you need? Please, pick up my meds for me. Oh, and food. I am running out of food. What can you get with a 50? What can you eat? I no longer have meat, oil, or vegetables. Let me send the list to you. It might not be enough. Maybe it will last you a week. It is fine. Just give me the prescription, and I will get you the food. Wow, you are so sweet. You don't have to do that for me. You are my sister-in-law, and you are pregnant. I want to make sure that you are as comfortable as possible. And did you drink enough water today? What did you eat? I have not eaten yet, doctor. But let me eat. I am not yet a doctor. I am on a study break, remember? Catch you soon. One week later. Hey, dear. I am held up in a meeting right now. Can you drive Lisa to her appointment? I was supposed to, but I got cut up in this meeting with my lawyer. I was in the middle of laundry, but let me do it. Two hours later. Just dropped her off. We'll come back to pick her up in a bit. Actually, I bought her some clothes at this store that I have yet to pick up. You know how big she has been getting? Can you fetch them? Yes. Which store? Lara store. Consider it done. Can you also come to pick up some meals at my place? She is unable to cook for herself these days. Yes, sure, no problem. Later that night. Hi, I am so sorry to ask this. I do live a bit far from her, but can you drive her to her next appointment? I know you are trying to look for a job so you can pay for your studies. It is no problem, mom. The next day. Babe, I have just got home. Where are you? I am hungry. There is a pie in the microwave. I am so sorry. I had to help your sister out. You are there an awful lot lately. Do you want me to speak to my mom? If she pressured this on you. No, she did not. I offered her help. She is an elder, so it is my job to try and make life a little bit easier for her. I really do not mind running errands for her. Wait a minute. I have an incoming call from her. 30 minutes later. Bad news. What? My sister has a high-risk pregnancy. How bad is it? Chances of survival might be a bit lowered because she has a weak pregnancy. So she might need 24-hour care. They are suggesting that we should hire a nurse. But it costs a lot, even if we put the money together. I feel so bad. She's been through so much. Hey, I think I might have an idea. What if I help her out? I know that I am not a licensed professional. But I've been doing a good job helping her out these past few weeks. And we could save money. I think my mom suggested it once. But why did you not tell me? I did not think you would want to. Of course I can. 
I got some scholarships I am trying to apply for. But I am sick of staying at home with nothing to do. I did not think I could adore you even more. Anything for family, my dear. Months later, I think her water just broke. Call the ambulance. They are taking way too long. Your mom said I should wait. There is so much water and she's in a lot of pain. Her contractions are getting more frequent. I must drive her myself. But the doctor said she is high risk. It might be better to wait. I am also a medical student. I am telling you that if I do not risk it, she will be in danger. I have to go now. Do your best. I will be at the hospital soon. How is she now? Got her to the hospital in time. She is in labor now. Okay, but I told you to wait for the ambulance. They were going to be there for another five minutes. You were not there. I have been with her every day this week. I told you that we should have taken the advice for her to stay in the hospital a few days ago. You know the medical aid was not going to pay for that. Are you blaming me now? Really, after I have taken good care of her, you think that I would put her in danger? You are not even a real doctor. How should I trust anything you say? I am going back to med school in a few months. I have been trained as a medical assistant. Please, show me your qualifications. I am her mom. I know better. Then where are you? On my way. One day later. You know what? I do not understand you. She is okay, is she not? You heard the doctor. I also know that we nearly lost them. Also, why could you have not have just tried to make her give birth at home? She is a high-risk pregnancy. I am a medical student, not a midwife, nor a doctor. No, I think you did not want her to give birth safely. You must be jealous because you don't have your own child yet. Maybe I should have hired a professional. I saved your daughter's life. And this is what I get? I do not have to deal with this. I was your designated errand girl, okay? My grandson is in a critical condition all because you failed to act quickly. Yet the doctors say otherwise. You know what? I am done helping you. I was going to try and help her with the baby. But since you know better, then it is up to you to do all that now. I never knew you were so rude. I should have known that you were not good enough for my son. What was I even thinking about letting him get married to a person like you? Three days later. Jenna, please talk to me. Leave me alone. Listen to your mom. She came and told me that you were going to file for divorce. I just never thought the reason why we would break up would be your mom. What? Why would she say that? And thank you for unblocking me. I have been worried sick since I got home and all your bags were packed. Your mom told me to leave. She said that you left. And when I saw your stuff gone, with you blocking me everywhere, I believed her. What happened? She said you tried to harm my sister. I just want the full story from you because I am struggling to believe that you would do that. And your running away makes you look guilty. Days before Lisa went into labor, the doctor said she needed bed rest at the hospital. It was a bit costly but not by much and insurance would have helped out in the end. I suggested it because I spent all day with her and could see that she was near. But your mom refused. Why would she do that? She wanted me to help Lisa give birth so she would not have to go to the hospital. I will show you the chats. She made me call an ambulance knowing it takes 20 years. The ambulance did not come on time, so I drove her into the hospital. Now, a lot of things make sense. She lied to me and said that you put the baby in danger, when in fact, you saved her. It's a girl? Congratulations, you are an aunt. How is Lisa? Worn out, but okay. Does she know about the situation? Only what mom said. I am coming back home. We need to talk. The next day. Hi, I spoke to the lawyer. You can get a divorce and since you have only been married a year, you do not have to give her anything. But mom, I have not heard what she said yet. Do you not think we are being too rushed? Rushed my foot. I want that girl out of our lives. She was good for having a round and I thought she would help me out with your sister's birth. Now that she is done. She is of no use to you? You wanted to use my wife as a free babysitter while pretending you cared about her? Now that you've got your grandchild delivered safely, you do not care? My son would never speak like that to me. Let me ask him. 
he agrees with me. Jenna, give my son back his phone. Are you not ashamed? Did you steal his phone? No, we are both here, together. I showed him all the chats, and he showed me yours. Wow, you lie a lot, mother-in-law. You know that I would have never hurt Lisa. You are useless. My son can have a woman ten times better than you. Not some poor woman who cannot afford med school and has only done two years. He has been taking care of you for so long. Do you think I want a daughter-in-law who will take several years to start earning? Oh, so you want a daughter-in-law you can exploit? What? I never said that. I want a woman of value for my son. We are not getting divorced. He knows the truth, and so shall Lisa soon. Lisa would never believe you. We shall see. Hi, can you come over to the house? You are back. Please, tell me what my mom said is false. There has to be a misunderstanding. Yes, but it is a long story. You know what? Let me come to your place instead. I cannot wait to see my niece. I am sure she is beautiful, just like her mom. You are the best, Jen. See you soon. The next day. Hi, sorry I got emotional yesterday. It was just a lot of info to process. After you left, I thought about the day I gave birth once again, and I realized what happened that day. I did not get a chance to thank you. We are family. Anything for you. As for my mom, she's just toxic, and I am starting to realize that. I am sorry, this is a hard time for you. She had the money so I could get hospitalized sooner, but I doubt my health is less important than her money. Sadly, she was willing to risk my life to save a little money. I could have paid her back once I started working. On top of that, she tried to ruin your marriage. You are the best thing that has happened to my brother. I am sorry you went through that. It is okay, Lisa. Let us move forward. Hours later. Why did you lie to Lisa? Now she does not want me to see my grandchild. She has cut off all ties with me. I am her mother. You were willing to risk her life to save a few bucks. On top of that, when she needed help with her pregnancy, you could not be bothered. I told her the truth, but the decision was hers. You told her lies. You are much smarter than I gave you credit for. My son was about to divorce you. What spell did you cast on him? How did you trap him? Tell me. You did all of this to yourself. You lost your whole family because you schemed. But here is the good news. At least we all know your true colors and that you never wanted me in this family. We will see. It is not over. Several months later. Can I give my mom up for adoption? What did she do now? She never gives up. Send me a message saying that she was going to kill herself. I got there and she was sitting with some sleeping pills. My word. Is she alive? Did you manage to call the doctor in time? She did not do it. I saw her sitting there through the kitchen door. I was behind her. She sat there for 30 minutes and did not move. Wow, but what if she had done something to herself? I know she did some stuff, but she is still your mom. I know, but she is too self-centered to kill herself. I signed her into an old age home. What? You are evil. By evil, you mean an evil genius. She'll be well taken care of there. I used a threatening text to enroll her since she wants to play games so much. I am done living life by her rules. Do you think she'll be okay there? But why am I feeling sorry for her after what she did? She dug this grave all on her own. No one messes with my wife and gets away with it. Garrett's mom is still at the old age home where she refuses to cooperate and constantly troubles the people caring for her. Garrett and Jenna stopped visiting because of her rudeness. Lisa has started working again and is raising her child with the help of her brother and sister-in-law. Jenna went back to medical school and is doing very well. The end. Thanks for watching!